Let's do this. Let's do this. Yo. So, your debut tape. How long have you been working on this? Take a hold off. Nah. How long? <laughs> um, I would say it's from like Feb, you know, Feb. From February, yeah. so that's a good, what, seven months? Yeah. Okay, and I've noticed that your name is different on this tape. Could you tell us your name and what the thought process was behind changing it? And why now? I feel like... <clears throat> Alright, cool. I'll tell you. I'll tell you a personal reason why I changed. Why well, I ain't changed. I still use Wild Boy Ace, mm. but another reason why I kind of like used Wild Boy as well yeah, is I watched an interview from Hitmaker. Okay. And he was basically saying, because of the kind of person he is, even though he's the best, it's like he's got this product, but people don't want it from him because it's him. You get it. <coughs> so I feel like because of me. Not giving a fuck about, like, I just do what I want to do. And people don't like it, mm. you know? It's like, because of that sort of mentality where I just do me, people don't want to be fucking with me like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I feel like that's one of those, those that's, I feel like that's one of the reasons why, you know, why I changed my, so, but, and, and I'm also transitioning into an artist, innit? Wild Boy, so... When I produce for other people, it's still going to be Wild Boy Ace. But for me, like for instance, with my project and like my, my videos and stuff, it's going to be Wild Boy. So two different entities, basically. Okay, so when you yeah. say artist, does that mean we're going to hear actual vocals from you on this tape? Yeah, or... man. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're working, we're working, we're practicing, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. Definitely um, going to hear some... Some vocals from me on this man, you know. What is it? Am I gonna hear you shelling a sixteen? Is it is it harmonies? What can we expect? You know what? You will. Okay. You're gonna hear. I'm coming. I'm coming, man. You know. I had to elevate, man. You know. I had to elevate still. Okay, yeah. I love that. And um, the tape. How many tracks is on the on the tape? How much you giving us? At the moment, it's in between. By the time this is out, anyways, it's gonna be around. 11, 12, 12 songs. 11, 12 songs. Initially it was going to be 10, but obviously, you know, you're making good music. Mm. And, you know, it just, it's like, you can't let, you, know, you, you got to put them in there somewhere, you know mm. what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. 11, 12 songs. I'm assuming you're working with other artists, or is it just you on the tip? Nah, nah, it's not just me. It's not just me. 100% not me. Obviously, I've got the artist, other, other artists on there, mm. um, other artists from different countries, um, mostly okay. my Brodies as well. Wicked, you know wicked. what I'm saying, and um, and and I feel like with the artist on, on the project, it's like with the artist on the project that I put on there, an artist I really, I really, I don't want to swear, but I really fuck with, you know, mm. as people as well, you know. Yeah. When you're in this industry, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that, like, they smile in your face, man. I, I've seen it, you know what I'm saying, where they're talk bad about someone and the person walks into the studio and they're all cool, you know what I'm saying? And mm. since I've seen those things, it's like I just kind of like just stayed away, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, so the artists on, on this project are people I really like fuck with as a, as a person, mm. first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, like, majority of my of my sound or my music that I'm known for is working with upcomers as well. Okay. You know what I'm sense. saying? So... Not that not that I, I made a project thinking like, yo, I'm gonna put a lot of upcomers in there. Mm. But it just gravitated towards that lane anyways, you know what I'm saying? And like I think about six artists on this project that it's like they're dropping music for the first time as well, ever. Mad, mad, so mad. you know, like I could have easily slap I could have easily slapped big artists on there, but I was just like, you know what, let me keep this very to the ground, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. You know, cause cause whilst whilst working on this project as well, like I, you know, it helped me f find myself as a musician, as mm. a person. You know, um, kept it back to the roots. You know what I'm saying? Of, of, of me in it. So, yeah, man, you're right there, T. Yeah, you guys bugging out, fam. Sneezing and shit. Come on, T. I can't help the sneezing though. Go outside, then. Yeah, me, man. You don't. I'm gonna make it worse. So, bro, I've heard people call you the Pep Guardiola of this scene. 
You know what's so mad about that though, yeah? I don't think you've met Wheezy. He was there the other day and we were just talking about music and he was just like, yeah, you're Pep. Why, I don't watch football like that, innit? Mm -hmm. So why, why is he, what's Pep? What does he do? Pep, Pep he's is a, mastermind. he's a manager, he's a mastermind and, he's, and he brings the best out of his, uh, you can say out of his players, out of his teammates. And I noticed you said that you've got your bros on the tape. So leading on from that, how does that feel as, say, someone who's been in the scene, established in the scene, at organically bringing through your people and say guiding them through that process how does that feel as a first and foremost as a friend and then from a say a producer and an artist uh, perspective um as as a friend it's like it's amazing man like because i can't even explain it like it's a, it's a good feeling seeing your friends do what you're doing as well it clearly shows you have like a impact on the people you're around you mm. know what i'm saying if i was gone tomorrow at least I left an impact, even if it's my friends or the people that listen to my music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And also, like, on a musical level, like, it's it's very good because it's like you're bringing your people with you, you know what I'm saying? And and I feel like that's that's the most important thing, man. Like, it's a good feeling, man. I can't even lie still. You know, seeing everyone all together, just working and, and trying to make the best out of everything around us, basically. Mm. Like, yeah, man, it's a good feeling still, I can't lie. It, it, you know, it, it gives me a reason to never quit. You mm. know what I'm saying? With this music stuff, there's every day there's a reason for you to quit. And I feel like having your people around you and seeing how you inspire them and impact them, it's like you can't quit because what happens after that? Everyone's going to be affected in some shape or form. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you just have to keep on going. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. I hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you said you've gone global with this tape. What does that entail? What I'm mean, hearing features from other artists, or was you in other countries making some yeah, of the music? Like, what does that entail? In terms of global, it's like I feel like after traveling, traveling a lot, a lot last year and this year, it's like I just got inspired to just get away from the UK for a bit. Mm. You know, when you're here for so long, without you even knowing, it feels like you're stuck but you don't you don't even know you're stuck here mm, like because you just saw it you're here and everything everything feels like it's here for you mm. but after after traveling a lot last year and this year it's like my my it just my it i just saw things differently you know what i'm saying so you know that gave me fresh energy as well and you know it all came back onto my music with the way that the project sounds it doesn't sound like I'm, I'm even from the uk yeah you know what i'm I saying it just sounds like i've been around i've, I've been to places i've got different energies and stuff so which is very important man mm. you know what i'm saying so and uh, yeah and i would advise everyone to just go away from where they're from and go you know take on a challenge and just try something they've never done before so would yeah. you say coming out of your comfort zone really helped nah definitely definitely because as i said boy, i've been doing this for about six years now five six years solid it's like and when you've achieved so much within that period of time it's like there was no new challenge so it's like being able to just travel away and 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 like um, being able to just travel away and just you know be in countries where people are not speaking the same language as you, mm. you know it's a challenge in itself. And then being able to make music with them, it just shows how powerful music is. So yeah, man. I definitely hear that. Would you say you have any prior expectations to the tape in terms of numbers and things like that, or is that not something you're too concerned about? Nah, I'm not concerned about that at all. If anything, this this project is more personal to me. Even mm. if I dropped it and I'm the only person that listened to it, I'm fine with it. Okay. Because I'm satisfied with that. That's something I put together for myself and for me in it. So, yeah, like, in terms of numbers, I don't really care too tough. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, I've done all the numbers mm. that I... And when I started making music, I never even expected to even be touching a thousand views let alone millions and stuff so yeah. that is though it doesn't you know what i'm saying it's not my it's not my initial initial um what's the word the motive focus. you know what i'm saying yeah initial focus so you know just the music comes first man and and from listening to the project you would tell i don't care about all of that mm, you know what i'm saying 100%. i'm doing what i want to do so going off the back of that obviously you've worked with big artists you're a platinum producer etc etc what made you not have 
or reach out for say big names on your debut mixtape and what made you like you said go for six six of the artists is their first song do you know what i'm trying to say what made you go down that then i ain't gonna lie i did reach out to a few other big artists but once again it's like that's why i feel like this this project is a, is very personal to me you know you, you work with artists you build them up they get to a certain level and they don't even pick up your calls kind of thing you know what i'm saying so it does affect you a little bit but it is what it is and that's just part of the game you know what i'm saying so you know, I just channeled my energy into myself and just the pe that that allowed me to channel my, channel my energy into myself and the people around me, you know, because that energy is so bright. I can't let it be dimmed down by an artist not replying to my message. No, We're all humans. I'm not going to let another human dim my energy. So, you know, that's why I kind of just focused on. And besides, I came up working with upcomers as well you know what i'm saying so yeah. it's nothing new and i love that i love feeding off the energy of people that are just as hungry as me you know what i'm saying mm. <coughs> so yeah man like the energy is just, it's just raw, <laughs> it's right, raw 2019 i feel like i've seen you i've seen your name everywhere in a sense obviously i follow you on social media and that so how much songs would you say this year you've been a part of and would you say this has been one of your busiest years as a producer as a artist so far or how do you feel about that in a sense musically in a sense it has been the busiest mm. because i've had to travel i've had to shoot videos usually i just make everything from a, a room mm. you know what i'm saying and send beats out usually um if, if i'm being honest as well I, like it was only last year i started doing sessions in the studio with, like, with artists and stuff so this year has definitely been very very busy traveling um traveling um, shooting videos, um, just a bunch of other things like, yeah, it's been, it's been very, very busy this year still, I can't lie, very busy, but obviously that's what sets up the foundation for what, what I'm trying to head to. Okay. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Understood. Do you have any uh, personal favourite songs on the tape or, 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 or do you want to let us know? A few songs in my head. What you need. You know what? You know what? Cause, you know what? Cause, cause every single song on the project, like I was in there. You know, what I'm saying I recorded every single song apart yeah. from one song. So it's like I must have loved it. You know, what I'm saying to to keep it on my project. So I think every single song, like I fuck with, I fuck with it. I can mm. listen to every song and and vibe with it. You know, what I'm mm. saying you know, produced everything myself, mm -hmm. um, recorded everything myself apart from one song, which I was still in the studio by the way. But my boy Swan. Um, recorded a session, um, so yeah, I fuck with I fuck with every single song on the thing, man. Like it's, it's if you listen to them, you, you you know, and you really listen to music, you you, you fuck with them as well, man. Hundred percent. This ain't no, this project ain't no ain't no like yeah. Let's just make a track. Man was really there in the studio putting this shit together, like real vibes, real energy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, would man. You, who would you say? Um, say for someone hearing your sound for the first time, would you say that uh, there's anyone that you could compare yourself to or maybe inspired you or would you say you'll very much have your own sound based mm. off the tape? Hmm. Based off the tape? Based off the tape? I don't think there's any song on there that you can say sounds like this. If that makes sense. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, let me just run through the songs in my head again, real quick. Yeah, I don't think there is. You can say, oh, it's on, in this in this kind of category, but mm. it doesn't sound like like anything. What, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What I think, anyways. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. What's the genre of the tape? Does the tape have a genre or no? I'll let the, 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 the listeners decide. The listeners decide, okay. Yeah, Risky yeah, move. decide what they feel and however they take, the, you know, because it's different. There's, there's vibes on there, you know what I'm saying? So it depends on you to, to, to feel what you feel from it. I mm -hmm. don't want to make that decision for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, have, I, have I asked you already about your inspirations for the tip? Or? Mm. What would you say keeps you going as a producer? And also, why now? Two what? questions I want you to answer. One, what keeps you going as a producer? And two, why have you decided to drop your tape now? What's significant about this time in your life, you would say? Or 
stuff that you that made you decide, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to drop a tape. What keeps me going as a producer, there's a there's a few variables. One, it's the fact that you can never stop learning. Mm. You don't know it all. You can never know it all. So it's like you just it's like you can wake up each day and do something you ain't done before. You know what I'm saying? That one there is it's like it's interesting. Magical you know music, right? Exactly. It's like it's like there's no limit. There's literally no limit. You can make ten different songs in a day. Mm. There's no limit. So I feel I feel like that's that's definitely one thing that keeps me going. And why now I decided to, to drop this, I feel like I feel like it's time man. You know what I'm saying? Like throughout my whole music stuff. I've put every artist first. Ask anyone I've worked with. I'll be the one to find them an artwork person. I'll be the one to make sure, like, you know, take them to their first radio interviews and shit. So I feel like right now it's like, it's like, it's time for me now, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? I'm not a kid no more. I've got to put myself first now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Before kids start coming into place and shit. So, yeah, that's definitely, you know, right now it's definitely important. And obviously, with the guys around as well, it's like, just keeps the momentum going, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? The fact that they've been part of the process as well and they've seen the hard work that goes into the shit, it's not a joke. So, you know, probably motivate them to to to, to really go for it, innit? Like, and let them know, like, yo, even if you've been in this shit for years, it never gets any easier. Yeah. If anything, it gets harder, innit? Mm. So, yeah. Would you say working with artists that, as you said, fuck with, excuse my French, um, is it easier to, to work with them or would you say it's easier to work with artists that you don't really know? Mm. Because there's definitely, you know, positives and negatives. I feel like that depends on you as a person, isn't it? Me mm-hmm. personally, I'm not really too friendly unless I know you. Okay. Um, so for me, working with people I don't know, especially in studio sessions, it's like I had to come out of my comfort zone, isn't it? Understood. So I to elevate. So before I would never go into sessions. Like I didn't like it because I didn't, I don't like talking to people. You know what I'm saying? That I don't know anyways. I'm quite I'm a very quiet person unless I'm around the, my people. So working with artists I don't know. Um yeah, as I said, it depends on you as a person, but I had to literally come out of my comfort zone and just learn to talk to people in the sessions and stuff. Mm. And just make music to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any advice for any upcoming producers, musicians? Do whatever the fuck <coughs> you wanna do. Mm-hmm. Literally, it's gonna sound arrogant, but I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this, yeah. The people that have made the most impact in the world broke every single rule, negative or positive. So mm-hmm. just do whatever the fuck you wanna do. Obviously, make it positive. <laughs> Push it <to> the- <laughs> That's, there's no, there's no other advice I can give you, man. If you want to wake up tomorrow and make a rock song, just fucking do it. No one can tell you shit. You know what I'm saying? Because at least you're doing something of your time and your life. You know what I'm saying? Fuck what anyone else has to say about you. Just do whatever the fuck you want to do. I'm telling you. There's more peace in that. You'll you be able to sleep peacefully. As long as it's positive, though. But just, just do whatever you want to do, man. Go for it. Just literally go for it. It's not hard. It is hard, but it's not hard. Just go for it. So you said you've been doing music for six years, correct? Like, solid. Would you say, first question, do you reckon those six years have gone fast? And secondly, did you see yourself here six years ago? Nah, because obviously six years ago when I started, I was in college. So if I'm being totally honest, because after college I went into university, which is a solid three years. So if I'm being honest, in terms of my time, three years in university, that's half your time. So six years, I'll probably say solid four and a half years, if I'm trying to count how many years I've actually put into this thing. So looking back from when I started in college to now, if I'm being honest, it's, it's, I, I wouldn't have seen it, trust me. Mm. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't have seen it. I'm not where I want to be at all, no doubt. But the the progress and the elevation to, to being a point where like I'm doing what I wanna do uh, and inspire other people as well to just, you know, like I wouldn't have seen it, trust me. 
yeah it's amazing still some trust in the process yeah 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 literally literally man literally get me and 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 obviously with with with, with this project as well it's, it's a statement you know just do what you want to do you know there's a lot of producers in this in this in this industry that are very shy mm. you know and that's understandable we're always in the background but you need to just fucking come out man i've had enough of all of us slaving away in the studio for hours upon hours upon hours mm. and we get the least out of everything you know what i'm saying so it's like just 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 come out now and just just come out basically in it you know what i'm mm. saying just come out and 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 take over the world man you can't do that by by seeing behind your laptop 24 7. you gotta come out 100 you know what i'm saying so, also i've seen the artwork for your mm. tape i love the artwork for your tape what was uh what was behind the artwork what inspired you to do that and obviously explain what the artwork is for those who haven't seen it the artwork I was trying to come up with an idea for the artwork and then I remembered I had a, a picture, a baby picture, um, and and I thought, yeah, you know, it kind of links with the name of the project, mm. 94, the year I was born, and, and, um, and I felt like for my first project, introducing myself as Wild Boy and really introducing myself to the world for me, not mm. for the artist I work with, you know, I feel like it was important to use a picture of me, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. it's going to be there forever. So, and, and you know, it's going to hold a sentimental value as well. Um, so that's why I wanted to use to use that picture. Yeah. Okay, you know, wicked, wicked, as, wicked. as a debut. Like, this is me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Yeah. And, and the features on the tape, would you say you're excited to see where they go and their futures where they progress to like, like can yeah. you see honest potential in them 100 percent, 100 percent. as i said majority of the people <laughs> i've worked with are on the come up um and they've gone on to do great things so it'll be interesting to see if i still got that touch because mm. if one of them goes off it's like all right cool i, I would never doubt myself no more yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying because as music musicians we all doubt ourselves but if, if not even if <laughs> when you know an artist from this thing goes off. As I said, there's six new artists on this thing that have never dropped music before. And if it happens again, then I'm never doubting myself again. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just, I know exactly what I'm here to do at that point. You know what I'm saying? And which is to just get people from here to here. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like regardless of whether they go off or not, you should never doubt yourself because your talent is undeniable. That's been yeah. shown. Now, but you no know crap. what though, like... That's real talk. You know what it is? I won't even say that yourself. It's, I don't know what to call it because I feel like I, as musicians, you get to a point where you... It took me a long time, but it gets to a point where you know yourself now. Mm. But I don't think it's, it's doubting yourself. It's something else, but I don't know exactly what it is. Okay. It's uh, not doubting yourself because you know on a bad day, you can still make the best music of your life. Mm. If you're doubting yourself, you won't go in the studio that day to go make that music. Mm-hmm. You know? So yeah. I don't think it's that in yourself. It's something else, but I don't know what it is. When I remember, I'm gonna slap in there, <laughs> and you know, put it out there someday. You know, you're talking how you've um, you know, brought artists up, basically. You know, mm -hmm. you know, from 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 the ground up. So in a way, who is Wild Boy then? You must be more than just a producer then. You say you can be like, who is Wild Boy? Who is that? Explain that one word. I feel like he's still trying to figure out himself. So he's still trying to figure out himself? Yeah. I so would like you say you you are climbing the ladder as well and bringing people with you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like I feel like this project is, is, is set the foundation for me to find myself exactly who I am, what I'm here to do. Yeah. And that's part of what I'm talking about in terms of tech in terms of in terms of taking the next step. Yeah. You know? And that's that's part of the reason. It's like what what the, what am I really here for? Of course. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this project is the foundation to really set that base and then I'll figure it out at some point. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers Whoa. crossed. Listen, heard the tape. Mm -hmm. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. And when do you say it's coming out? On the 10th, 10th of October. 10th of October. 10th of and October. if it doesn't come out that day, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, but listen, thank you. Yeah. And 
we'll come back when all the plaques get delivered. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow, well, boy. Let's get it! <laughs> Boom! <laughs>